Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Orange. Welcome back to the channel. It's currently 2 a.m. on December 25th, 2023, Christmas Day. And this gameplay I'm going to be reacting to is Madden 20 Content Ultimate Team. And I recorded this game and added it to my capture gallery on December 7th, 2019 at 4.39 in the morning. I have the screenshot right here. Y'all can't see it. I tried to get the camera to focus the other gameplay, but it didn't work. But this was recorded at 4.39. I told you I didn't get any sleep. Oh my gosh, this intro used to get me so hyped. To hear Whitehead on the Browns, Nick Chubb, David Andrews, Patriot Center, Jared Goff, Drew Brees, Lamar Jackson, Greg Joseph, the kicker. I think that was like Quinnen Williams. Lamar, bro. That was, this was Lamar's MVP season, but Patrick Mahomes was on the Patrick Mahomes was on the cover. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started with the Madden 20 soundtrack. Banger, bro. Incredible. Forgettable. Like your homies do. Oh, I messed it up. I don't know the lyrics. I just had to let you know. I don't care if this video gets copyrighted. I'm vibing. 2 a.m. on Christmas Day. This is clear cut. This is me. I'm staying true to myself, bro. No. Hey. Okay, so I was one on one on the current season the head to head. So, you know, 439 on a December evening in 2019. What better things did I have to do than to play Unlimited? Saquon Barkley, Tyree Kill. Oh my god. I don't care if y'all make fun of me. I don't care if any of y'all go back and watch this. I'm vibing, bro. Look at this squad. Byron Joe's Tyree, Saquon. Y'all could've compete. Simple. I was a weekend league demon back then, bro. I'm seeing 2020 visions. I'm seeing 2020 visions in 2023, almost 2024. Okay, what else? Any y'all that are watching this and want to clown me, I don't care, bro. I'm living life, man. Y'all want to hate, but you don't make content at 2 a.m. on Christmas, bro. Reacting to videos that you clipped from four years ago. I'm really him, bro. I really do this, bro. Oh, my gosh. This starts me. I know cocky shit, but, like, come on, y'all. Y'all gotta give me my flowers, bro. Like, I'm making content still. I know it's not for the customs, which is what y'all mostly want. Look at Russell in a Seahawks jersey. But I have a sore throat. Might be getting sick. Look at Stephon Gilmore. He played for the Panthers like two years later when Cam made his return. There's my top three. Tyree, Byron Jones, Saquon Barkley. All powered up in stuff. Y'all know that bar back from those old Mad 20 gameplays? He had Peyton Manning, Ryan Shazier. I didn't see his other player. Powered up in stuff. I remember when I said that. <laughs> you know. Some light. My kicker was lefty? Who is this? Jones? See, I don't know my kicker. I had Justin Tucker for most of the year. Look at Christian Nikoya. Okay, Michael Hardman? Bro sitting on top of my guy on Ken Houston. Demario Davis with the tackle. See, I know all my players. Bro. It might have been four years ago. I know all my players. I got Lawrence Taylor rushing off the edge. I got Byron Jones. He's got that Eric Dickerson with the, with the X Factor. And you know he's running stretch. Madden 20, the stretch days. Oh, no, he's not running stretch. Keep in mind, I'm reacting to this gameplay. Hits Darren Waller over the middle. Possession catch. Is that Delaney Walker? Oh, that was Delaney Walker, not Darren Waller. Dude. He had Peyton Manning with all the X-Factor abilities, plus an Eric Dickerson with X-Factor. Breaks the first tackle. Oh, my goodness. And he doesn't lose it unless he gets stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Which is, like, impossible because he breaks the first tackle, man. Okay, that 3-4 bear. What y'all know about that 3-4 bear formation? Is that Vin Baker off the edge? No, Vin Baker was an NBA player. Brian Dawkins. He's probably going to run stretch. And then Okoye is going to lead out as the fullback, huh? Bro, he take 10 years to snap the ball. So I have to stop him behind the line of scrimmage in order to get rid of this X factor. Okay, he didn't break that tackle. That's surprising. But I think he should be still with his X factor since he didn't get tackled for loss. Pat Tillman, oh my gosh, I forgot about him. He was the captain that year that you could upgrade. Look at a 5'10 Pat Tillman tackling a 6'4 Eric Dickerson with X factor. What y'all know about that, bro? Took 10 years in between snaps. 
And I basically just had to run commit to certain sides. I'm in zone defense, but I know he's going to run it with Dickerson. Sending Ertz in motion. He's probably going to run stretch. He didn't even get the playoff because his motion man was late. That's crazy. <laughs> he got a delay game. Ah, trying to set up Eric Dickerson on his stretch. This was Madden 20 cheese. If y'all played Madden 20, Eric Dickerson stretch. I never had him. Never had Eric Dickerson. I did have Saquon. Um, who are my other running backs? I mostly use Saquon. I used Tariq Cohen a little bit early in the game, October-ish. Oh my gosh. And they had these sound animations like Jerome Baker who just tackled him, my linebacker. He said, you better get in the weight room, big dog. No, he didn't say big dog. He said, you better get in the weight room. Saying that to Eric Dickerson when you know he's going to chuck you over is rambunctious. Okay, Peyton. You might have beaten my Panthers in Super Bowl 50, but we all know that is rigged because Cleet, Blakeman, Cleet Blakeman's wife is a Broncos fan. I see it over the middle, and I'm late with Dawkins, and he beats me with Michael Thomas. And what world is Michael Thomas beating Byron Jones on a deep ball? Apparently back in 2019 on Madden 20. So I got I got my guy Jason Barrett trying to come off the edge and block this field goal. I loved trying to block field goals on this game because you had a chance every time. You just had to time it, then press R2. See, look, perfect. I came pretty close. Sometimes you would get the animation, and they would slow it down, and you would come around and and you lay out, block the kick. Keep in mind I'm holding the controller because I can press stop when I want to stop recording. But this is clear cut. Me. I'm not stopping. There's no cuts. Y'all are with me for the whole video. Long haul. I know only probably me and maybe like Braden or someone claps. Anyone from the group chat will watch the entire video. But I'm going to watch the whole video when I upload it. So I'm not cutting it at all. I want this just to look back on. This isn't for views. Oh my gosh, Tyreek! Get glitchy! Keep in mind, I'm watching this for the first time in four years. I thought I was gone there. I'm not playing the game. Look. Thing, it's recording, that's why it's flashing. I'm not playing the game, y'all. Watch. Not even touching it. Y'all know, because I couldn't be even playing online in Madden 20. It's like 2023. They would have taken down the servers. Okay, OBJ. He was one of my first decent players. Little jut touch pass to the left side. <sighs> okay, Saquon. Here we go. I had Dak. Oh my gosh, I had Dak Prescott. I didn't even know. Here we go go so the reason I am recording this Madden 20 and I recorded that 2k 19 gameplay purposely just because I want to be able to look back in the future at these videos I don't really care about editing them and how many views they get I just want to see what I was like back then on December 25th 2020 okay I get tackled behind the line by that Shazier card all right Saquon get your lick back later in the game I know you will back let's see what orange got up his sleeve on second and long Okay, going through the suggested playbook because I wasn't I wasn't really him. I was good at Madden, but I was too lazy to like seek out my own plays. Okay, that Texas route with Kittle kind of glitchy, but I switched it to an out route. Okay, what else we got? We got a real route. Check and release for Saquon. Deep post for Odell. Okay. Okay, Tyreek. Tyreek had a uh, human joystick. That's what, that's how he was so glitchy, and you can just go. And just juke your way around, but he had no space there. Got tackled right away when he turned around to go upfield by his Pat Tillman. Man, that Pat Tillman card was a dog. Everyone had him on their team. They did not take him off their team. Everyone had that Pat Tillman card. They could be paid to win, and they would keep Pat Tillman. Okay, so this is a little under unders concept verticals, little verts. Probably gonna hit Kittle across the middle, knowing me back in 2019. I threw it to Kittle. I knew I was gonna throw it to him, bro. I'm not. I know myself too well. I throw it right into coverage, and he gets the pick. That route on Birch, y'all know the tight end routes on verticals on Madden back in the day was so glitchy. So I don't even blame myself for doing that. I took a lot of risks. I, I sort of just threw balls in the coverage sometimes. Okay, usering Shazier, he still has his X Factor with Dickerson. So priority number one for me has got to be to get that X Factor off Dickerson. He's got a Koye leading the way on stretch. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this cheese. 
Shadier trips over Dawkins, and he's probably gone. Is Dawkins going to catch up? No, he's not. No words, bro. That's Dickerson in Madden 20. Gosh, dude. 14-0. Start of the second quarter, man. How am I going to come back? How am I, I'm going to have to generate some offense. I mean, I was across midfield through that pick to his linebacker trying to hit George Kittle. This was back when George Kittle, when the Niners played the Chiefs in January 2020 before the Super Bowl. Look, Tyree Kill on punt return and kick returns is so glitchy with that ability, that human joystick. Oh my goodness, man. All right, Orange. Okay, Dak. Here we go. That's Dak's cadence. Ready. Slut. Here we go. Okay, should I hit? Saquon out the backfield, too late on that. Oh my gosh. Throw on the run to Tyreek. Fading back. Launches it. That wasn't even a bad throw. Okay, second down, ran right up the middle with Saquon. Don't know why I spun. There was no one there. What are you doing, man? Gavin, come on, dude. You're better than this. Really embarrassing yourself, man. And again, I think I said this last video. I'm sure y'all gonna find hella memes in these videos, man. And I'm gonna see them in my Discord. But this is purposely. Oh my. This is purposely for me to look back on and just smile someday. Oh my gosh. I threw a Texas route to Saquon. To the guy that just intercepted. Who is that? AJ Bouye, he played for the Panthers. Man, he, he, he crapped the bed. He shit the bed with us. He was not good. AJ Boye, especially that Washington game, Cam's return. He did not do us any favors, especially Dante Jackson. Oh, don't even get me started on Dante Jackson that game. Had to throw it away. Not trying to throw an interception and give him more points. Man, I got a sore throat. It's Christmas Day. What am I doing up at 2.12 in the morning? Oh, my hair got messed up. Man! Oh my gosh, Kittle across the middle, I wasn't even watching. <laughs> Get a little pep in your step, huh? Okay, I don't know what Brandon Godden and uh, Charles Davis are even talking about right now. Okay, I see you, Kittle. Underneath the Saquon, tried to spin off of it, but that good tackle by AJ Boye. If only he could play like this when he was on the Panthers. But y'all know, everyone, when they come to the Panthers, they just, they forget how to play football. We pay them, they forget how to play football. Speaking of the Panthers, man. Oh, my. Oh, Tariq Cohen. Tariq Cohen sighting. Don't fumble, Tariq. Speaking of the Panthers, we lost today to the Packers by three. Tie game, 30-30. to 30. Packers drive down the field, get a field goal with 20 seconds left. So we have 20 seconds, no timeouts. First play, we get out of bounds with 13 seconds left. 20 yard gain. Oh, look at Tyree Cohen on the stretch. Speaking of Tyree Cohen, he's on the Panthers practice squad. He hasn't gotten any burn this year. He's been coming back from ACL injuries. I hope to see him on the field maybe one of the last two games. Um, but we used one of our timeouts to challenge, lost that timeout. And then also, we waited like five, six seconds to use a timeout after they picked up a first down. Okay, quick little run up the middle with Saquon. Gonna fall for some, for some extra yards. We had like five seconds before calling one of our timeouts, and that was the difference in the game because Bryce threw that out of bounds, like 20 yard pass to DJ Chart. Next play, throws in the middle of the field to Thielen. Saquon! And he's gonna roll into the end zone. I loved that animation back in the day. These were these, uh, the f most feared promo jerseys. Yeah, from those challenges. See, I remember. Shout out to Dak Prescott holding the snap on that extra point. Um, so Adam Thielen caught the ball middle of the field. With, he caught it with like 10 seconds. Gets up. Cradles it. Make sure no Packers players swiping at the ball. Hands it to the ref. The ref takes 10 years to put the ball. Spot the ball, bro. All our offensive linemen trying to hustle down the field to get set. Oh my gosh, I thought he escaped for a second. Is that Shaquille Griffin? He's on the Panthers too. Wait, man, look at look at what are the coincidences today with old Panthers players in Madden 20 being on the team in 2023. Um, Thielen 
gets the ball to the ref. They finally get the ball down. It's like two seconds left. Thielen runs around Bryce when he could have just been out wide and set himself and checked with the ref that he was on size. Takes 10 years. Okay, they throw a little screen play. I, I'm all over that. Um, basically, Bryce is under center. Trying to get the snap. Takes it. About to spike it. Hits zero as the ball is in his hand. If we had like another second, two seconds, the ball would hit the ground. And we would have had like a 45, 50 yard field goal with Eddie Pinero, who's made those before. And then it would have been a tie game. Look at Eric Dickerson. Okay, this is the loss, isn't it? That's a two-yard loss. So Dickerson doesn't have that X factor anymore, I don't think. If I'm remembering correctly, how Madden 20 works. See, he breaks that initial tackle. There you go. He lost his X factor. Um, so we lost the game because we didn't have an extra second to spike the ball. If so, we would have hit the field goal, gone to overtime. Anyone's ball game from them. Also, we trade our first round pick next year to the Bears this upcoming draft. So it would have helped to win, obviously, because we would have been tied with the Cardinals um, for worst record in the NFL. And then they might have jumped us to number one, depending on strength the schedule. But we still have the chance to not give the Bears the number one overall pick. I'm hoping not, because that would have been a super lopsided trade. Trade for Bryce Young, who hasn't looked the greatest. He's had some some good moments, some silver lining. Okay, I'm using with Shazier. Oh, oh, you got intercepted. Okay, about to say. Darius, big play. Call me Slay. It's Slay. He doesn't like being called Darius, his first name. I watched one of his uh, interviews with Cam Newton. It's Slay. It's big play, Slay. Look at my guy. Oh, he, he said, I want that. He said, oh, I want that. He said, give me that rock. Give me that rock. So we are two and like 13 currently. We got two more games against the Jags and Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is leading our division. They beat they beat the Colts today by like double digits, which I did not expect. Or no, that was the Falcons. The Falcons beat the Colts today. Tampa Bay beat Jacksonville because I think Trevor Lawrence got injured and he was coming off a concussion, so they lucked out. Um. Okay, my little under round special, Tyreek. Okay, I'm an audible. Flip it to Odell. Max protect left. Uh, 30 seconds left in the second quarter. See if we can get a little... Oh, Shazier, you're late on that. Get me in the open field with Odell. Get out of bounds. Save those timeouts. Panthers, watch this, man. Get out of bounds. Save those timeouts. I guess the only thing we did was challenge that catch that Green Bay had where the guy rolled over and the ball popped out. But I don't really blame our coach because it looked kind of incomplete on the field. Plus the whole sideline. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Plus the whole sideline thought it was incomplete, so the coach was just backing his players. Wow, I really picked up one yard. Kittle was wide open. He was a fast tight end back then in Madden, but obviously not fast enough to outrun a corner. 27 seconds left, one time out. Down by seven. Here we go, Dak Prescott. Throws a scary. That's on me. That's not on Dak. Bowen headed decision right there. Lane Johnson with an amazing open field tackle to prevent the touchdown. I honestly don't know what happens next. But all I know is that the ending was crazy enough for me to want to record this gameplay. And just talk to y'all, man. I mean, just vibe, bro. Reminiscent of that Soul Illuminati Pretty Boy story time. Nah, I'm just playing. It's not really. Okay, force him out of bounds. Oh my gosh. Keep him in bounds. He's got three timeouts. Okay, he's going to use one there. Fredo and So. So Luminati. Um, they actually have something that they're coming on and talking about. Like a story of how they lost their virginity. Or uh, just a crazy story with their friend. I'm literally just talking over some old Madden content. Talking about life. Oh my gosh. He just dotted me up. Who is that? Is that to Mechol? Miko Hardman, Chiefs legend. Wow. He's got that solo challenge, Baker Mayfield, as his holder. Oh my gosh, bro. I just got dotted up by Peyton to Miko Hardman. Who would have thought, man? Definitely changes your morale, changes your outlook. Alright, Tyreek. There's no way he has a punt return touch or kick return touchdown here. Yeah, I don't remember doing that. I would remember if that happened. All the best players play by the rules. Again, y'all, this is uncut. This jacket I got um, on Black Friday. I got this jacket on Black Friday, bro. It's like this 
brownish color. Y'all can't really tell by the face cam. Uh, the face cam's not the best. It's PS4 camera. Pretty outdated. But it's super cozy. It's got a hood too. Has a cool design on. Ooh, Dak! There was another scary. Just tackle him. Tabuye! No! No! Okay, cut off that sideline. Cool design on the sleeve. Polar Tech. Which y'all know about that, man. Apparently, it's out of recycled materials. The logo. It's like all purpose gear. ACG. I don't know what it stands for. Some Nike collaboration. I love my zip up jackets because I don't want to mess up my hair, man. I don't want to mess up my hair. Tyree, show me something. Show me something, Tyree. Dude, he'll always get you out to the 30. You could be the worst player. You could hand your six year old cousin the controller. They're getting to the 30 yard line with Tyreek Hill with the abilities that I have on him. I'm sorry. Like, they are. Alright, Dak. Here we go. This is what he does. He says, here we go. And then snaps it inside zone. Now I'm just talking about. Oh my gosh, Saquon took a lick right there. 2023 Dak Prescott. Here we go. I love saying that. It's so catchy. Lifts his knee. Hut. Boom, boom, boom. Bah. 50 yard bomb to CD Lamb. What you know about that? He was on my fantasy team last year. Speaking of fantasy, man, I am playing my dad in fantasy. And knock on wood, knock on this table. Oh, pitch to Saquon. Give him room. Oh, Saquon. Oh, camera won't focus. I'm on the fantasy app. I'm winning 89 to 52. He's projected 101. I'm projected 117. He has four people yet to play, and I have two people yet to play. There's like three games on Christmas Day. Who do I have left? Who's Derrick Henry scored 20 points for me. He had a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown as a running back. That's pretty crazy. He's had a lot of passing touchdowns in his career. He's just versatile like that. Tyree Kill, nine receptions, 99 yards. A little RPO to Tyreek. Speaking of Tyreek, he had nine receptions, 99 yards today for me in fantasy. Not bad. I think he was. He's the number. Y'all can't see this. Oh, y'all see Tyreek. He's the number one receiver in 2023. That's his position rank, number one. He's averaged 21.1 points a, a week for me. Calvin Ridley, 90 yards on six receptions, two touchdowns, 22 points. I have Sam Laporta at my tight end. Detroit Lions rookie Raheem Mostert picked him off waivers. I'm not even paying attention to the gameplay. Raheem Mostert, number two rated running back, picked him up off waivers on September 13th, 2023. What a pickup. Brennan Aubrey, he's the number one rated kicker, picked him up off waivers. <laughs> Y'all can't even see it. You can see a little outline of his face. Fourth and seven through an awful screen to Saquon. My dad, speaking of Saquon, my dad has Saquon as his flex. Y'all can see Saquon's face. Okay, fourth and seven. You're down 14. You got to go for it at this stage of the game. I'm probably going to hit Tyreek over the middle. I'm waiting for him to drag across the field. Oh, and how was that a possession catch? I pressed X for possession. He dives out. says, give me that. Wow, that was impressive. Okay, so we got everyone in blocking for Saquon. A little run up the middle. And he's he's out. He's a lose. And just turn on the burners. He's gone. You're not catching him. Look at my guy Ron Rivera, man. I wish he was still the Panthers coach. And oh, what a kind of celebration with Tory Holt, NC State legend. Shout out NC State, man. Not like I go to school there or anything. I don't go to there. I don't go to NC State, bro. Don't know. They don't have me, man. All right, one score game, two minutes left in the third. Um, yeah, so my dad has Saquon. My team this year, starting quarterback Jalen Hurts had him last year as well. He is the number two rated quarterback by position rank on the year of fantasy points. Okay, please tackle him, y'all. Who else was solid for me this year? I DeAndre Swift picked him up off waivers. I haven't started him recently. Has been playing the, the best. Eagles are on like a four game losing streak. Three game losing streak, maybe? Three or four. My voice can be so dead. I've been talking essentially two hours according to these last two game plays. Daniel Hunter and Slay. Not Darius. Slay combining on the tackle. Okay, I'm going to use her Devin White right here. 
gonna be in a little zone across the middle. He's gonna go a little play fake, play action. He's probably gonna go deep. Oh, Devin White! Oh my gosh, that's a user. I switched to Slay. Big play Slay. I got caught on my man. Well, we're across the 50 yard line. Two interceptions on the day for Slay. Big play Slay. Okay. We're in position now to make something happen, man. Saquon, just run right through Pat Tillman. Big body. Okay, I'm probably going to run that RPO. I know I am. I knew it! I knew it! Gavin would pick that play. It's so glitchy. Okay, here comes Odell. Just going to wait for him, see if it's open. If so, I'm going to hit him. It's not open, and we're going to get sacked because he knew it was coming. He was using over with Pat Tillman. So, either take the sack or throw a pick six. I'll take the sack in that situation. Give myself a chance. Okay, so third and 12. Tyreek over the middle on that route is so glitchy. He cannot guard that, so I'm probably going to hit him, knowing me. Or also, there's an in route with Odell Beckham at the outside of the field. Oh, my God. I just threw a pick right to Shazier. I was watching Odell and Tyree because I thought I was going to go to them. But this is part of what makes this game crazy. And the reason I'm up at 2.30 in the morning on Christmas recording this video is because I make boneheaded decisions like that. But still, somehow, did I win or did I lose? Y'all got to stay through to find out, man. I'm not going to give anything away. All in for a treat, man. Okay, so now it's my turn to get a user lord pick with Devin White. He's going to run a little... Delayed HB draw inside handoff with Eric Dickerson and oh man, it is so dry here. Like it was like 60 degrees during the Panthers game in Charlotte today. Um, but the air is so dry, so my skin is gonna be hurting. Oh my gosh, bro, I'm tired. Excuse me, y'all. Oh my gosh, great open field tackle. Is that Slay? Look, he spun off that block that the receiver tried to put on and made the tackle. Or is that Marshawn Marsh Lattimore? I think that was Darius Slay who made that tackle. Bro's MVP of the defense so far in this game. It's going to run out the third quarter clock. Um, and, you know, we're down one score. He's threatening to score, so it's not looking the best considering I only have four minutes of game time. Do have all my timeouts, so it's going to take a low-key miracle, miracle to make this happen. Try to force him out of bounds. Look at Eric Dickerson breaking tackles. What the? What the? That happened to me back then? I don't remember that. Okay, so we get the stop. This man got up from the dead. He was down by like five of our guys, unless he was rolling on our players and wasn't officially down. Okay, so he makes a two-score game with that field goal. I would have been sick if he picked up the first down with Eric Diggerson there. Oh my goodness, bro. Look at Jason Barrett diving and trying to block that kick. Are you serious? I do not remember that happening. That man was rolling around on my tacklers, and he wasn't down. I think that was just Madden being Madden. Oh, Tyreek taking it across field, but he runs into the tackler. I wonder if he had a Cowboys team team. I doubt it, though. That looked like that Heath guy, that white safety that used to play for the Cowboys, but I doubt he would have had him on a special team because he probably had, like, a bronze card. TJ Heath, I think it is. Okay, a little check and release to Saquon. Get some positive yardage just on the first play of the drive. Dak is 11 for 19 with four interceptions, 91 yards. Will I win a game or Dak? Mr. Here we go. Throws four interceptions, not even 100 yards. Okay. But well, Saquon's got to carry a little stretch play to the outside. He's all over that. Boye is not as fast as Saquon. He should not have been able to catch up to him. That's just rambunctious. Okay, I'm going to start locking in more to the game instead of doing a little story time. I'm going to actually like commentate. Okay, Doc, Dak. Here we go. I'm setting up a little... Uh, in route for, or no, an out route with Saquon out of the backfield. That's probably where I'm going to go, huh? Oh, he was holding triangle, but didn't time it. Otherwise, that would have been a pick. Man, I'm throwing scariest this game. Fourth and five. This is the game on the line. Down ten. And I've run it! Saquon! With a lot of room! Go! Bruh, he thought I was going to pass. I said, 
Let me run up the middle real quick for 50 on your dome. Now Tariq Cohen's in because Saquon gas. Triangle. Okay, Tyreek, get out of bounds. Nice, nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. Fantasy MVP for me. I'm going to need him to go crazy in the championship game if I make it. I'm in the semifinals of my fantasy league right now. Here we go. Here we go. Sut. Making my hot routes. I had Medcool Harmon too. He must have been a card you got from Solo Challenges. Medcool on a slant. Oh my gosh. I did not even see Kittle. I just ran him on a, a little vert up the middle of the field. A little streak route. Oh my goodness. I thought I was going to hit Medcool on the slant. Gavin with the vision. And it's a three point game with two minutes left. Bush Clinton is shaking in his boots. Okay, man. Imagine I force a fumble here. I can't remember how this game ended. Med goal. Okay. Nothing exciting on the kickoff return. Ed Houston and Devin White were there. Devin White made the tackle. I'm going to need Byron Jones to step up, man. He's the person I have abilities on. Madden 20 Legend and Neil Hunter. I always had him on my Madden Ultimate teams. Oh my gosh. He must have lagged because he went way into the backfield there. Tackling him for no gain. Okay, he gained one yard. Look at how far back. And then that juke. Maybe he did that on purpose. He wanted to start far back and then juke my bad. Two minute warning. Got all three of my timeouts. Need to stop to get the ball back. Big ups, man. 2 a.m. in the morning, imagine. Chase ears all over that. Yeah! Oh my. How does that happen? Brandon. Or no, that's Medco Harmon. Getting free past my safeties, and I couldn't get there in time. Now he's across midfield with the ball. I only have two timeouts left. He basically just needs to pick up one more first down. He can run out the clock and kneel it. Dawkins, get him! Great tackle by Devin White, saving the game essentially. Because if he gets a first down, it's over. So using my second time out, second and six. My throat hurts so much. Oh, I cannot wait to go to bed, bro. But I'm doing this for me and for y'all, if y'all enjoy this type of stuff. Why would you run a... S okay, that guy is so OD fast. Tory Holt. Why would he run a slow developing play in the backfield when you just need a first down and you have Eric Dickerson with Tory Hole of all people no disrespect to Tory Hole but like use your brain buddy hunted on the dash the song playing in the background of the game got it on put on the gas I do not they cannot stop me Okay, he's going to take a page out of my book and on a third and ten where you think he would pass it, he's going to run it. Caught me off guard. Picked up six. Will he go for it, though? Madden is thinking that he's going to go for it and therefore he is, man. So I'm blitzing pretty much everyone. I'm going to use your shades here, essentially. See if I can force him to throw a pick to my user. The user, the user, the user, the user, the user. And Pat Tillman saves the game. Oh my gosh. Came up and made the tackle in the flat on Eric Dickerson. He had that uh, ability that like he wraps up. When he gets his hands on you, pause. Um, He just wraps up. Like no one can escape Pat Tillman unless it's Eric Dickerson with his X-Factor. Breaking the first tackle. So I'm running my money play. Tyreek across the middle. Hoping that speed. Okay, that's not open. I hit Torrey Holt on a little slant, slow developing, and he gets hit as he's catching the ball and drops it. But that does stop the clock for me, which is key there, because I have no timeouts. So I'm going to run Burtz with Odell in the slot. Kittle going across the middle. I'm going to put Kittle, and I'm going to put Saquon on a check and release. And I don't really got anything. Oh my gosh. Threw another scary that he could have intercepted. Man, Gavin, what were you thinking back in the day? Keep in mind, y'all, this gameplay was at 4.39 in the morning. Cut me some slack. Are you really in your right mind at 4.39 in the morning on December 7th, 2019? No, you're not. Dak, here we go. Okay, I see Kittle. Oh, I'm going deep to Odell. He has a step. One-handed. Brings it into his body. Hurry up. 50 seconds to go. Dak Prescott. 
in the shotgun, making hot routes. Nothing's open. Probably throw it away at this point. Dak with the wheels. Getting chased down by the defensive lineman. Doesn't get out of bounds. And the clock is still running. Only picks up one yard. I don't think I realized the clock was still going at the moment because it is rolling. Oh, I have no timeouts. So he calls a timeout because he sees I'm lining up for a field goal. So since he bailed me out by calling a timeout, I think, knowing myself, I'm going to try to pick up some extra yards. Josh Wait, Gavin. This to potentially send us to overtime. The slow meter kick. It disappears. Josh Lambeau the splits the upright. So I really kicked a field goal on second down? Gavin, I'm on that 430, your brain not working type beat. So because I didn't have a timeout and I was scared of the no huddle and the time running off the clock, I kicked my field goal and sure that I was going to go to overtime. But it's never a sure thing, considering all the big plays I've given up this game. The commentators like my decision making. They're like, ensure this game goes overtime. But there's still 20 seconds. He does have time, uh, two timeouts. And he has been burning me all day with Medical Harmon and Michael Thomas. So I'm going to be using Pat Tillman on the right side to try to shut down that Medical Harmon. He's going to run streaks. You can see that on the right side. That's where he probably wants to go. I'm in the middle of the field with it. He's going to hit Julio Jones across the field. Get out of bounds. Not take too much time off the clock. Pick up a big chunk of yardage. Get himself in a more manageable situation. So I'm looking at my pass counters for first down. And I'm going to go with recent plays and probably go into a little cover two. Spread out my defense. Drop everyone. And I'm going to use her patty on the right side. He's running the same exact play. You can tell by... And he's getting hit as he throws heavy pressure and therefore it's inaccurate. So... Good pressure there. I think Daniel Hunter was there in his grill. Okay, six seconds left. Second and ten. Man needs a miracle. He's going to do a little play fake. Probably the last play of the game at this point. He's going to throw it deep. Oh, Julio had us beat. But Ken Houston, Dawkins, and Devin White were there. And Julio's not that fast ever in my in our ultimate team. So... We gave up the big play. He didn't have any timeouts left as time expired, so we're headed into overtime, man. He won the toss. That had me sick, especially because he drove down the field on me like that. Wow. Oh, gosh, man. Boom. Imagine I forced a fumble with Devin White. Evan Ingram's on my kickoff team. Pow! Okay, I, I wasn't usering him. Is that Devin White making plays? Making plays? I see you, I see you. Budget beast. Shout out to Devin White and Ryan Shazier. They carried me this year. <laughs> they carried me about a 20, bro. W linebackers. Okay, giving the ball to Eric Dickerson only makes sense. He's been carrying him. How many rushing yards do you have? 137. Most from that long run that he broke off. Okay, I'm going to start off in 3-4 Bear, have two edge rushers, Lawrence Taylor and Jerome Baker on the outside. I'm going to use Brian Dawkins, try to cut off that toss play. And who is it making a play in the background, backfield? It is Jerome Baker, and he was like a pretty skinny outside linebacker, one of my weaker players on defense, but look at him shoving out, was that Larry Allen, Cowboys legend? I can see based on those old-fashioned pads. He shoved him out of the way and made a play in the backfield. That was huge. He had a guy deep, but he didn't hit him. Oh, my gosh. Dude, the fact that if he made one move and just me on my shoes, took it to the crib, the game would have been over. I don't know what defense I was in. Med Medco Cardman was cooking me this whole game. Three receptions, 91 yards. That's like 30 yards per reception. That is just absolutely rambunctious. He's running his patented play action, but he took too long. And Jerome Baker... Just absolutely carrying it over time with the sack. So he now he's panicking. Second and 19. Hurry up offense. Same exact play because he can't change it. Hurry up. And look at me. Pat Tillman screaming. And he's going to run hurry up again. This guy is rattled. Third and 32, buddy. What are you thinking? He gets sacked a consecutive times. By Pat Tillman. 
This man refused to call a different play. He said, nah, I'm beating you. He must have saw what defense I was in and knew that he could beat me with whatever defense I was in. And he just needed enough time. So he kept hurrying it up. So now I pass commit because I knew he has to pass. I drop all the way back with Ben or Brian Dawkins. I should have dropped my defenders back. So he's going to call a timeout. He might think better of it. I don't remember what happened, but was that three consecutive sacks? And why was he running hurry up every single play? Like This guy pretty much sold the game for himself. Why are you going for it on 4th and 44? You realize if you give me field position, I just got to kick a field goal in that game. But he's confident, and I drop everyone just in case. His only hope at this point is to throw a Hail Mary. And Torrey Hole has my guy beat, but the user, the user, the user, the user, the user, the user. Brian Dawkins, and he takes it across midfield. So I basically need 15 yards, and I'm in field goal range with Josh Lambeau. So... This most likely will be Saquon time. I don't know what he was thinking in overtime. It probably was 5 a.m. for him um, because this is an Eastern server, I'm assuming. So he's probably on East time. So he probably wasn't in his right mind either. Saquon, inside zone, spinning for no reason. And that's game. And he's in for the touchdown. And it's stunned silence in AT&T Stadium in Dallas, North, or Dallas, Texas. Dallas, North Carolina, imagine. Look at Dak beating the Cowboys. That's so ironic. Peyton Manning going out sad. That inside zone with Saquon. Double spin, Tutty. Spin of orange, I hope you guys enjoyed. 40 minute vid. No cuts. I love y'all, man. Peace. Okay, so that outro was kind of rushed. So we're going to do it again. Hope you guys enjoyed. No cuts, 40 minutes of me just talking. My voice is gone. Please pray for me that I don't get sick on Christmas Day. I need to wake up rejuvenated. I want to get this done because I got to take down my setup because we open gifts and have everything in here. So I got to take down my monitor. Obviously, my monitor would be like right here. I'm recording this on my TV behind my monitor. If y'all want, watch my setup video. I'll put it at the end screen. You guys can see what my setup looks like. Um, I'm recording this on my PS4 because I'm using the PS4 camera. Um, but I gotta take down my setup, take down my table, and I had to record this tonight. And hopefully, I can get it, both these videos up the 2K and the Madden video up before the new year. And you know, just let me know in the comments if y'all enjoy this type of stuff. Hear me talk, um, just talk about life in general and stuff. Um, I know none of y'all gonna watch the full video, but this is really just for me to go back and watch um, when I'm older. And that's pretty much it. I don't really care about views, but I appreciate everyone here at least stay through the majority of the video. You're a real one if you stay through the entire thing. The fact that you spent 40 minutes watching me, that would just be crazy. Um, that being said, I don't know, I can't really turn the camera. Whoop. I don't know why I'm doing this, but hopefully my camera doesn't fall. It's Christmas, man. Got the tree. Got me, man. It's been orange. Thank you guys so much. Um, you know, Probably just gonna have a bowl of ice cream with Cheetos. Hit the hay, wake up tomorrow morning, take out the cats, and enjoy some Christmas with the fam. Feel me? Everyone stay blessed, stay safe. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's been orange. What's in store for 2024? Who knows? But I'm living in the present right now and I'm loving life, man. It's been orange. This is the longest outro ever and y'all don't care at this point, but I'm still going. One pinky. Well, ah, I can't do it. One pinky, one finger, one thumb. One love, y'all. Ganger. <laughs>